Jay. Yeah. So um, recently, Bernard Hopkins made some comments in regards to Devin Haney. Mm -hmm. Bill Haney responded. I saw that. What's your thoughts on that? I mean, Bill Haney was right though. Like, you won't even. It was funny because he, some things I didn't think about. And one, one of those things, he was like, and my son, 23, he world champion. When you was 23, he was locked up. And the best thing you could do is go at him. And I thought about that. Then he was like, you don't help nobody. Then I also thought about that. Like, like how many guys signed to go to boy from Philly? You know what I mean? And then I'm like, how many guys that's successful in boxing from Philly that he helped? I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Like, I mean, he really, he really don't. Like, I know it, I know it, but I ain't never really deep think deep into it. Like, we got a lot of fighters. Yes. And he don't extend his hand to none of them. And if he do, it's probably just some old get over type deal. It ain't nothing like reasonable, cause they just going other places. And I'm like, damn, like, that is, is kind of crazy. Like, I mean, you a you a black man from Philadelphia. And it's not one man from Philadelphia signed to you, or that you could that you could say you really mentored their career, advised them, anything like. And you, the only person that signed is who? The Flair, right? Yeah, and Blair. Yeah, and Blair really. He don't. I don't think they really showing Blair no love. You know what I mean? And, and Blair and Blair has proven himself. You know what I mean, if, if not to be champion, definitely a top top ten guy. You know what I mean? He not to be disrespected. I ain't gonna lie. I think Blair is a great fighter. Um, and he, and he gonna sell. Um, but I just think it's crazy. I do, like, after thinking about it, after watching Bill Haney interview, I'm like, damn, that is kind of crazy. Like, people would think being one of the greatest fighters, one of the greatest middleweight, middleweights ever, it's like, and being from Philly, you would think he would really, you know what I mean, open that door up or at least give you a key, you know what I mean, and leave it, leave it up to you to, to come in. You know what I mean, but he don't even. That's not even his like motive. I don't, I don't. He don't even fuck with nobody, and it's crazy. I think that's crazy to be from Philly. I think it's crazy to be from Philly, and it's like, it's no type of Bernard Hopkins day. It's no Bernard Hopkins gym. It's no type of. I don't. Ne I never seen a uh, like a a day where he spend time with the youngins and 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 try to motivate them. It's like, cuz like he vicious like. I was surprised when I took the temperature in the room as far as how he's perceived in Philly. Yeah. I think outsiders have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I don't know. It's like, I, I, I didn't believe it years ago, but then, you know what I mean, we had a thing, you know what I mean? And, and, and I see why. I see why motherfuckers don't fuck with him now. But it's crazy because you pulled, you, you, your career is in stone. You a made man in boxing, but in Philly it's like, all right, he's like a regular boy. I couldn't imagine being that guy. If I'm a millionaire and I'm and I'm a successful fighter, like all right, put it like this. I'm I am I'm gonna even take it off of him. If it was me, I mean, if it's Greg Hackett, and I make that I make it where I mean I could start some shit in Philly. I'm gonna make sure my young boy's good, man. We got a good gym. I mean, some good good gymnasiums, you know what I'm saying? Not just for boxing, basketball, football, soccer, tennis, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever these guys need. I'm not, I'm not saying I can help everybody, but I'm just saying, y'all going to know Greg Hackett from Philadelphia. You know what I'm saying? You gonna it, There's going to be something you can come to Philadelphia, and I'm, a part of this stone is going to be, you know what I mean, Greg Hackett. Like, somewhere in Philadelphia is going to be something held down by me, you know what I mean, where people could come. And, and enjoy themselves and have fun and learn and you know what I'm saying? It's no Bernard Hopkins after school program. It's like he come and give out turkeys, but turkeys is anything. Like you can go kill a turkey up in Lancaster and bring one home. You ain't gotta you know what I'm saying? Nobody don't gotta wait for him to get a turkey. Like you know what I'm saying? That's really his thing, like come give out turkeys. Like I don't know, man. That shit kinda crazy. And it's crazy that somebody from the West Coast can see that. Like that's crazy. Even though he probably got on the phone with somebody and got some information too, but I mean, this shit is wild. I can imagine who he got it from. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, but that uh, shit. As far as, where, where do you think um, Bernard's criticism of death come from? I think one might be the re one reason might be we couldn't sign sign the kid. Two might be because he got a kid in that weight class that's that's running around saying that he beat Dev up and sparred. Uh, three might be honestly. I think he won. I think in his, 
from from what I seen, how he treated Mayweather, how he talked about Mayweather, I think he wanted to be the last great black fighter. You know what I mean? I think that's why I really think in his heart that he wanted to be the last great black fighter. Like, you know what I mean? To ever do what he did, and he did he did some great shit. I ain't gonna lie. I would never I would never front on his career. Uh, his career, he did his thing, man. He, he was a monster. Um, especially to be locked up, come home, lose his debut, and then and then run like 25 wins in straight. You know what I mean, that's some monster shit. But it's like, it's like, damn, who it? Like, I mean, you don't really, you don't really fuck with nobody. And and it's and it, and I understand not hanging out in the corner. I'm not asking the man to hang out in the corner. But there's plenty of kids out here, man. They need that motivation, man. You gotta, you gotta pump that motivation at least. And he don't do that, so it's like, I, I just feel like the, the shade towards the young black fighters now is because. You know what I mean, they getting talked about in a way he never got talked about. Mm. But it was like, all right, bro, your rule was different. It's, it, it, it's just how it go. The rule be different, mm. but still do your thing. Like you know what I'm saying, don't you ain't got you ain't got to down him. You know what I mean, you ain't got to talk down on him. You know what I mean? I wouldn't talk down on a man, any man, just cause he got rubbed me the wrong way or or had said some shit about me. And even if you say something about me, it still might not make me. I mean, go at you. It just it might be just more how you say it and what you and your intentions behind it. But it's like Bernard, like he do shit, and it's like it's like damn, dog, why you do that? Like I seen some shit he did personally in my face. I seen some shit he did, like I mean, to to a guy I was working with, and it's just like ah, like that's a tough pill to swallow. You feel me? Mm. And it's like I can't imagine Bernard being the type of guy to check in on these guys after doing them dirty. Like you know what I'm saying, intentionally doing them dirty. Like, Shit weird, but I ain't who am I?